everybody 1243 December 28th uh, 2016 now next step in my scope mounting thing here is to rest the gun on stand uh, on sandbags or pillow or something to be able to access it uh, much more easily which is something I have already done uh, Next step is applying oil to the receiver bottom of the base uh, to prevent uh, rusting. But you should be careful not to get oil in the degreased holes and surfaces. This is a step I just skipped. It's too risky for me. I do not want uh, oil applied to this surface to creep into and underneath the base and uh, render all my efforts uh, useless. Next step would be uh, dealing with the uh, scope stop. Uh, the only way a scope stop can move is a, s a scope can move is if there is no positive mechanical uh, stop. Now, uh, if the stop, if the scope relies uh, merely on clamping pressure. Uh, it will continue to move, so we have to take advantage advantage of the stop uh, sp uh, sp the scope stop uh, pin. Pardon me. Now the scope stop pin uh, goes uh, in here, and this uh, uh, Allen key is helping me uh, screw it in. I have entered or uh, partially screwed the scope stop pin into the actual hole on the receiver uh, of the rifle and as you can see there is a still a slight movement to the left and right uh, it's basically because the scope stop is a little the scope stop pin is a little smaller than the actual hole so it just shows me that it's in place now I'm gonna uh, take this whole thing back and like this and let the scope stop pin uh, uh, lean up against the uh, uh, back surface of the hole it's got into. And uh, later on, I mean, I'm gonna now, I'm gonna take out these uh, screws, Loctite, put Loctite on them, and screw, uh, screw them back in. And after adjusting the I mean, after putting the final touches on the stop pin, uh, stop pin, pardon me, I'm going to start screwing these uh, screws in from the middle to the uh, outside. I mean, this is the one that has to be the first one that has to be uh, screwed. <sighs> so as we have here also in my notes, uh, next step would be... Mm, uh, tightening the base using Loctite 243 with the middle screws uh, first, which is uh, what I'm going to get into in the next step. Thank you for watching.